Find the Laplace transform of t squared plus e to the t times sine of 2t. So to evaluate this, we're going to apply linearity in which we can separate the quantities being added together. In this case, t squared and e to the t sine of 2t. This becomes Laplace of t squared just by itself plus Laplace of e to the t sine of 2t. And you can't separate the e to the t and sine of 2t since they're two independent variables being multiplied by each other. So let's evaluate the first term, t squared. We know from our table the Laplace transform of t to the n equals n factorial over s to the power of n plus 1, where n can equal 1, 2, 3, and so on. Therefore, with our term, Laplace of t to the power of 2, we can see that n equals 2. That means that we can replace every n term with 2, which becomes 2 factorial over s to the 2 plus 1. This equals 2 times 1 over s cubed, which is simply 2 over s cubed. And that is our first part done here. Now what about this part? We're going to have to use two different properties. Let's talk about the first one. Whenever you multiply e to the something power by any given function, f of t we'll call it, the following change occurs. Laplace of e to the at, where a is a constant, times our f of t. We'll turn our Laplace of f of t into, we'll call it capital F to differentiate it, f of s minus a. So normally, the Laplace of lowercase f of t is just capital F of s. But when you're multiplying by e, it changes that value from f of s to f of s minus a. So in our case, when we have Laplace of e to the t times f of t, where f of t is still sine of 2t, we know that a equals 1. This means that our Laplace of f of t becomes f of s minus 1. Now let's find f of s. So we know that from our table again, Laplace of sine bt, where b is another constant, that'll equal b over s squared plus b squared. So for our problem, Laplace of sine 2t implies that b equals 2. Plugging in b, that becomes 2 over s squared plus 2 squared. Or in other words, 2 over s squared plus 4. So this is our f of s term. Now to convert it into our f of s minus a, or f of s minus 1, that means we take every s term and simply subtract it by 1. So this is a pretty straightforward case. It just becomes 2 over parentheses s minus 1 quantity squared. Anywhere there's s, turn it to s minus 1. And keep the plus 4 the same. And now we have our two terms. And don't forget the first one, we have to add them together for a solution. That means that the Laplace of this entire expression becomes 2 over s cubed plus our f of s minus 1 term, 2 over s minus 1 squared plus 4. And that's our answer. I hope this made sense. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.